Hello, I'm Harvey Stanger, president of Binghamton University, and I'm making this video especially for you, students and their families who live in India. New students who are starting in the fall, as well as students who are already here, but may have gone home for the summer break. Those of you who are already Binghamton University students know why you chose us. We have an outstanding ranking. We have excellent faculty, incredibly new facilities, a great community that you get to live in, a place that you can call your second home, and great programs, especially in the sciences and engineering and computer science. So we want to encourage you to continue to think hard. We know that right now it seems very difficult to imagine yourself coming to the United States or to New York State. But things will change over the next days, weeks, and months, and I know that we're past the apex and that things will become much more calm and safer in the United States. New York City is about 300 kilometers away from Binghamton. While you might land there as you're flying here in August, you may land in JFK or you may land in the Newark airport, we will come and pick you up. You won't have to use public transportation. We've done this for several years. We have a Binghamton University branded bus and a truck that can bring you and all of your luggage to campus. We have more than 500 graduate students from India going to school at Binghamton and it's a very strong community. And when you get here, they will embrace you. We have over 100 countries represented in our student population. So you're gonna notice when you get here that it's a very international university, even though it's set in the very rural environment of upstate New York. I was recently in India for about a week and a half, and I visited many of your cities, Pune, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Mumbai, Chennai, Delore, and driving between those cities, I saw what I see here, rolling hills, lots of farms, and people living in a rural lifestyle, very similar to India as it is here in Binghamton. So I think you're gonna feel very comfortable when you do come to the upstate New York area this fall. We also wanna make sure that you understand some of the benefits of Binghamton University in its relationship with industrial partners. Many students will go on to get their OPT, with company partners that work with Binghamton University in research projects. So you're gonna have immediate connections with those kinds of opportunities. I know that you may be having a hard time making a visa appointment right now, but we believe that that will change. But if you can't come this fall and you aren't able to make it here, we will be offering courses online for you. You can take a full-time load of courses so that you don't really miss anything and that when you get here in the spring, you'll be on schedule to finish your degree. I also want to th you to think hard about the fact that we're in an economic depression right now that will be temporary, maybe one, maybe two years. And when you recover from economic depressed times, the economy grows very quickly, which means when you're graduating a year and a half to two years from now, the job market will be very strong here and across the entire world. So that's another opportunity for you to think about when you're deciding when and where to go. If you're here, you'll also find that our courses will be taught in hybrid mode, that they'll be offered streaming as well as in person. So if you don't feel like you want to go to class someday because uh, you're not feeling well, we will be offering those courses online for you, uh, even though you'll still be a residential student. There's a lot of time between now and the fall, and I know that you're gonna be talking about this with your family. I just wanted to give you some good wishes and some thoughts from the president's office. And I hope that you can be here in the fall, and I hope that you will be a Binghamton University student very soon. In the meantime, stay safe. See you soon.